October the 7th, 1913. Workers are making the first mass market affordable car constructed using a system of ropes and winches to pull the Model T past 140 workers, bringing the assembly line time down from 12 and a half hours to 93 minutes. What happened at the Highland Industrial Center in Michigan more than 100 years ago sparked a technological and social revolution. Today, Volvo says it's committing to the next exponential leap, moving away from the internal combustion engine. All cars released uh, to the market after 2019 will be electrified. Volvo's journey towards electrification has become more viable because its parent company, the Chinese firm Geely, is a battery maker. If you're an automaker and you have to worry about the potential electric future, if you have another expert who can help you get there, it just makes sense to merge the expertise of the two. Um, and battery technology is critical. The market for electric vehicles was previously the domain of those willing to pay a premium for vehicles either with environmental credentials or in the case of Tesla because of the high performance of a luxury brand. Now Tesla has launched its much more affordable Model 3, its first mass production vehicle. People are clearly into the idea of electric vehicles where they weren't, you know, maybe 10, 15 years ago. Um, it's lost a lot of that stigma that it used to have. Uh, and I think companies realize that by getting ahead of this curve, they can become the, the, the shapers of the space. Aldi is planning an all-electric SUV with a 300-mile range for 2018, while BMW plans to introduce an electric version of its popular 3 Series this September. General Motors plans to launch 10 electric and gasoline electric hybrid vehicles in China by 2020 to compete with other Chinese manufacturers making similar moves, like BYD and SAIC. Technology companies like Apple and Google's Waymo brand are also moving into the space by leveraging expertise in developing self-driving technologies. Cars are not just cars anymore. They're advanced pieces of technology that are kind of all-encompassing. Given the pressure on our urban environments as populations grow and more people enter the middle class, companies are preparing for a future in which vehicles are increasingly shared and ordered using mobile apps. They see that the future of mobility is going to be much more varied, that we're going to have a more diverse energy source, um, and that in order to innovate, to stay ahead of the curve, they really need to be coming up with new solutions. Manufacturers are also spurred on by government commitments in countries like Norway, France and China, and U.S. states like California, pressing ahead with higher environmental standards and new incentives to signal that they too are fully on board the car of the future. Daniel Wrenches, CGTN, Washington.